This season of Cooking Hawaiian Style is presented by Kualoa Ranch, where legends are made. Hey, what's up? You got Lanai with another edition of Cooking Hawaiian Style, presented by the beautiful Kualoa Ranch, where I get all my fresh oysters and shrimp. And today on the show, ukulele extraordinaire, my good friend, Jake Shuabakuro. We're going to have to ask him to share a story on how we met. Let's get cooking. When you live in on the island, such a diverse Hawaii. When you've tasted all the flavors from the mountain to the sea, we're cooking Hawaiian style. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the kitchen, Jake Shimabukura. Mahalo, brother. What's up, man? I've Good been to trying to get Jake on for seven seasons now. He's, He's been lying. so busy. He's lying. You've been so busy, and congratulations on everything. Oh, no, no, thank you. you and congratulations you. on the show. Thank you. That's I'm glad awesome. you made it. You know, he's been representing Hawaii and promoting Hawaii with the ukulele and just sharing aloha. Oh. And now he's an actor. No, and now, now I'm a chef. <laughs> We're going to see if you can cook today. But it doesn't oh. matter. We're going to have some fun today. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, the first dish, I'm not even really cooking. We're just yeah. throwing stuff together. That's, so. that's, hey, that's the best part, yeah. though. So mm. we really put this t show together to you know, feature cooking from Hawaii, you know, Hawaiian-style mm -hmm. cooking, not necessarily yeah. just Hawaiian food, but from the plantation days, which we're all a part of. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'm going to be, actually, a lot of the things I'm, I'm doing are things that just my parents would, you know, That's did for me growing up. And yeah. So, yeah. So not only can he play an ukulele, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you, you're going to make some food for us. What are you making today? Yeah. Well, I can also make a mean salad. <laughs> well, let's make the salad. What, Wait, what I got to tell you about the, you mean? know, because I call it the, I call it my spinach salad uh -huh. with special sauce. Special sauce. I don't say dressing okay. because, you know, some people, not everybody likes to eat right, right. salad, right? Uh -huh. So if you say special sauce, it makes you feel like you're eating a burger. And he's a marketing genius. Right? Huh? It's like you're eating a burger, a burger <laughs> with special sauce. All right. So what, is, what do we need? So spinach. Okay. You know, <laughs> spinach and some spinach lettuce. Spinach and a special sauce. So okay. yeah, so this is just, um, we got some local kale uh -huh. and you know some it's just some spinach mixed up in here and we, we want to thank uh Kualoa ranch they've been providing oh, yeah. us with a lot of really local fresh ingredients yeah we, we eat healthy you know yeah. and uh yeah you, you start with fresh ingredients you can't okay. go wrong the so special sauce now chef jeff gave me some tips so okay. i'm gonna put put a little bit of salt here into right. the mixing bowl okay all right a little bit more let's put it right here in front of you so here. everybody can see that and then this is a, a this is awesome. This is a blood orange infused white balsamic vinegar. Okay, so if you don't know how to make a blood, what? what? Yeah, blood orange. <laughs> yeah, infused white balsamic vinegar. I had to practice saying that all yeah, night. Yeah. Or some. You just gotta go it. grab some, you know, blood orange and squeeze it with the balsamic yeah. vinegar. And how then, much did you put there? So yeah. that that was that was Half just a a, well, you just kind of want to do two to one, okay. and you know, you're all just right. gonna you're we're making the the special sauce, just okay. the dressing. All right. Gonna just stir that up there. Chef Jeff told me that the uh, vinegar helps to dissolve the crystals. You the shouldn't salt say crystals. his name anymore because you'll get all the credit if you just say. It. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is. <laughs> I'm kidding, Chef Jeff. Je Jeff is. Uh, he's been on the show something a couple I, times. Something I learned over at Kaimuki High School, you know, <laughs> back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> Kaimuki Bulldogs, by the way. Yes. Yeah. Gra a graduate. What and did you put in there? So this one here, this is a vanilla infused olive oil. Ah. Uh, yeah. Look at that. Really good. We're getting real fancy. Oh man, just magic. Just gonna kind of mix them up together. Yeah. Then. And all just right. a little pinch of uh, pepper there. Okay. Bam. Where'd you learn how to play the ukulele? My mom. Really? Yeah. My mom taught me everything. She taught me how to cook. She taught me how to, well, yeah, mo mostly everything. But yeah, <laughs> when I was about four years old, uh -huh. she sat me down, put an ukulele in my hand, taught me a few chords, and I just fell in love with it. If somebody wanted to learn how to play the ukulele, you know, people say, just you need four chords yeah. to, to, to make, play, make a song right on the ukulele. Oh. What are the well, four most important chords? Well, I mean, you, you really only need... Two, two, yeah. <laughs> yeah. C and G7. And That's G7, it. Yeah. yeah. So this is our special sauce here, okay. and just gonna mix it up, and just gonna pour it over. Now you just kind of eyeball it, you yeah. know. You just kind of eyeball if it. If you like want that. more, you want less. Yeah. 
Now, when you first time you played the ukulele, do you remember the first time you played for for, for people on stage? Uh, yeah, it was just How like family you? parties, you yeah. know, my, because I, I love playing. I used to cover a lot of Frank De Lima songs growing Did up. Did you really? Oh, yeah. Frank was on the show, you know. Really? It was hilarious. He was one of my heroes, Oh, man, mine growing too. Up. Everyone yeah. loves Frank De Lima. I knew all his songs. But when I was three years old, I could recite all the lyrics to his version of Lucille. <laughs> you gonna leave me now. Mm -hmm. uh, go Kids look up never eat Google yet, Frank man, De Lima. Man, season not foul. All right, all right. So you're just gonna yeah. mix that up, and you then just, what, are, what are your toppings over mix here? Mix it up like this, okay? And then just some bacon bits. All right. Just, you know, whatever you want. Just a little bit, sprinkle a little bit over like that. All right. I take a little bit of, you can use, you know, sunflower whatever seeds, want, yeah. whatever, but I just, just for the crunch, you okay. know. So this, these are like uh, salted chickpeas. Okay, salted Dried chickpeas. chickpeas. Yeah, this is really good. Just and for some our, texture. And then our last thing over there? Cranberries. Cranberries. Dried cranberries. This is this is the key because it just adds a little bit of sweetness. But you get a lot of the sweetness from the um, from the infused yeah. balsamic. And there you go. Olive oil. What there. do you call it? This is my spinach salad with special sauce. There you go. Jake Shimmer Bokuro, ladies and gentlemen. The whole recipe on our website, cookinghawaiianstyle.com. When we come back, we're gonna make some more, so don't go anywhere. Right here at Kualoa Ranch. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style, presented by Kualoa Ranch. We got Jake hanging out with us today. What are you gonna make next? Twin brother yeah. of Lanai. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna make something called <laughs> um, uh, Sunny Side Sandwich. Where'd you come up with the twin brothers? <laughs> I looked nothing like you. Yeah. So. <laughs> do people confuse you for me? Yeah, they do. They do. Like, oh no! You're hey, good. Lanai. Yeah, like, right. Oh no, I'm Jake. Oh, sorry. You know. Yeah, right. Um, what are you using? So this is a, a white truffle olive oil. Okay. And for olive oils, I like white truffle over the yeah. black truffle. We but for salts, I like the black truffle. Yeah. But so you just see, yeah, I'm gonna use this okay. to uh, just to cook the egg. And this is something that my parents used to make for me when yeah. we were kids for breakfast. Yeah, nice. really good stuff. And you just then you just take take your egg. Um, let's see, take your egg like I'll this. Let's see you crack my oh, Can you do man. one hand? No, I can't do the one-handed. Can you? <laughs> no. You want to do it? No, no, you go. Yeah. Okay. I, I can, but when people are not around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> no, I gotta ask you. Okay. Uh huh. You, you're the. Uh, the there best we go. ukulele Look player in the world. How was oh, it gosh. playing for no, the queen? No, no. Uh, oh, the queen? Yes. Oh, I got to tell you a funny story about that Please. because uh, I was so excited one day um, about you know about being able to go to overseas uh -huh. with Bette Midler to perform you know for yes, Queen Elizabeth. Yes, you were with Bette Midler. We got we got to meet her, shake her hand. I remember I coming back and I ran, I ran to one of my dear dear friends and my one of my heroes, Del Beasley. Oh, I love so, you know, Del. Del Beasley. I love Del. And I told Del, oh man, you know, I was like, yeah, it was so awesome. I got to I got to you know, play for the queen. And he told me, he told her, bah, that's nothing. I used to play for queens all the time down Hotel Street. <laughs> So, uh, so okay, yeah, we're, we're gonna. So you didn't even care about what you did with the queen. You like the Del Beasley story better yeah, than yeah, all of yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how was she? Was she nice? Oh yeah, no, yeah? she was so sweet, and you know, and it was such an honor. I mean, and I, I owe it all to, to Bette Midler because I wouldn't have been there if yeah. it weren't for Bette. Did she say anything to you? Yeah, well, she, you know, in her in her voice, yeah. you know, she was like, "Oh, you play so beautifully, oh, and nice. love your music." But the funniest thing was, be, after the concert, um, the producer of the show came backstage to tell all of us that you know that her majesty was gonna was gonna arrive okay where are you gonna put that i'm gonna put this i'm gonna take two slices of bread okay. here can i let me put this for you over on top of the cutting board oh okay all right you want me to turn the stove off for you or are we gonna uh, make some yeah, more yeah yeah we can turn that okay. off okay so you just the, the main thing is you want to just keep the yolk intact oh yeah i love so, the yolk well, oh, hurry up oh, the yolk yeah. is up <laughs> <laughs> after yeah after we want to keep them. the yolk intact you know that's yeah that that's works. basically what we want to do we'll yeah. put this over here okay but anyways uh you know and he told us he told us you know the don't don't be nervous you don't have to worry you don't have to curtsy or bow you uh -huh. know it's a very casual meeting so we're all lined up right i was standing between Bet Midler and Lady Gaga, and as soon as she Lady entered the Gaga room, was yeah, there Lady too? Yeah, Lady Gaga was performing. Oh my goodness. And All as right. soon as she entered the room, I tell you, it must be the Japanese in me, because uh. as soon as she entered the room, I was the only one just, <laughs> you know, like a chicken. Yeah. Just, I couldn't stop bowing. Oh, that's hilarious. All right, now we're just going to take some ketchup. Okay. We're just going to put some over like this. Wow, interesting. And this is, this is the best, because once you bite into it, and uh -huh. that yolk breaks, and it just mixes with the ketchup. Oh, it's so good. Well, everyone here loves eggs. Yeah, so this you know is I mean? great. You got a little bit of that light truffle, you know, yeah. flavor. How, how was uh, working with Bette Midler? Oh, Bette's the best. Yeah. I love her. Do you keep you in know? touch with her? I do. In fact, I just saw her uh, in New York. She I was mean, she was doing the Hello Dolly. Yes, yes, thing. yes. Oh, she was amazing. I've been trying to get her on the show. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Maybe you, you can get talk her to her on the show. You, you can talk to her, her for me? Show. I'll, I'll, 
I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Send her a text. <laughs> All right, so that's it? That's it, man. And okay. this is your sunny side sandwich. Look at that. You had a name for this. Yeah, I came up with it last night. What was the name? <laughs> Say it again. Sunny side sandwich. Sunny side sandwich because it's a sunny side up egg. Yeah. You know. Ketchup and, and uh, it's uh, the truffle oil that's going to yeah. put it over the top for you. We'll put the recipe on our website. Jake Shimabakura hanging out with us today. It's Cooking Hawaiian Style presented by Kualoa Ranch. We'll come right back when we got another dish. Yeah. Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style presented by Kualoa Ranch. My brother, Jake Shimabukuro, is hanging out with us. He uh, played with Pure Heart, then you went solo, and you just have been traveling all over the world, and now he's become an actor. Yeah, <laughs> you want to talk about that real quick? Yeah, it's a new movie, Go For Broke, and actually, we're both in it. Yes. We're almost kind of like a, like, uh, like a rock Kevin Hart duo <laughs> thing. Wow, that, that's a lot of pressure. No. <laughs> <laughs> I like that no, one. No, no, no. No, but it's a, it's a serious movie. Yeah, right? yeah it's about and it's, the, a, it's a great message, mm -hmm. I think. Great it's story. It's about the, the Japanese-American Nisei veterans, you know, mm -hmm. who served during the, the World War. The, they made up the 100th Battalion, the 442, the MIS, and it's really incredible, you know, because, I mean, for me, I realized at a young age that being a Japanese-American living in this country, you know, I have a much better life yeah. because of the sacrifices yeah. that they made. It's a story that really needed to be told, you know, yeah. and, and I hope it takes off. And we got to say um, congratulations to Stacy. Yep, uh, Stacy Hayashi. I mean, Stacy Hayashi was trying to get this film out for how long? Ten years? Almost 17 years. 17 years, mm -hmm. you know. And yeah. congratulations to Jake because he got to work on the music and the soundtrack. Yeah, and then that he was, was also that was in it. Such an honor. Yeah. Well, we're both in it. Yeah. yeah. That's. Uh, <laughs> I, I can't wait to see it. I didn't get to see it yet. See, but he's an actor. No. I, I am not. I had uh, never been so nervous in front of a camera before. <laughs> you I mean, did other fine. than today, you know. Like I heard I'm, you did fine. <laughs> no, yeah, no. You did no. fine. So what are we going to make next? Okay, so we're going to make something called Jake's Steaks. And okay. we're going to start with the ribeye. I'm already right. heating up the pan because you want to get the pan scorching hot. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a white truffle olive oil again that's his magic right that's there. yeah this is this, this is it this is the thing man you know you have good ingredients and you can't you can't go wrong you yeah it's gonna be you want to tell everybody how we met Jake oh <laughs> do I have to relive this <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. oh and this it is was... black, black truffle sea salt because okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna season the steak while, while hey we do just it. a disclaimer all right it wasn't as bad as he's gonna say it is okay but I take part responsibility for his amazing career <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> okay, well, while I'm here, yeah, you, you want try, me to I, can't, I can't, oh my oh, God. Oh, you got oil, 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 olive oil on it. So this yeah. guy, well, back when I was in high school, you know, we had a, we had a great um, uh, talent contest called uh, Brown, Brown Bags, Bags to Stardom. Stardom. Yes, it was and a huge so, you know, statewide event. I mean, I was, I was, I was just in high school and, um, and I, I practiced every day. I was so looking forward to this talent contest. I thought this was gonna be my big break. Cause guys like Capanna, you know. They, all the big right, celebrities they, yeah. have found, got found they, on this, they, this they contest. All, and, oh, and, and as I'm telling you the story, just to let you know, this truffle salt that I'm putting, uh -huh. I only put it on one side. One side, okay. Just one side, all right. yeah, you don't do two sides. And, okay. you, and what you do is you just kind of spread it over like that evenly. Lomi, okay. lomi. And then, so anyway, so I, <laughs> I, I went up, I was so nervous, you know, my first, big performance and I get up there on stage and I start playing and he's one of the judges. And I'm the MC. No, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and, and you're the MC. Yes, That's right. Yes. You're the MC. Yeah. So, uh, so I'm playing and then the next thing I know, I see Lanai on the side and he's like looking at the sound guy telling him. <laughs> and I notice my volume starts going yeah. down and I'm playing. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> This guy got me disqualified. <laughs> so here's the here's the disclaimer to this story. You're only supposed to play for three minutes. Jake was on for almost 15 minutes. No, yes, not 15. Because he thought 13, 14 uh, tops. I'm not gonna win, so I <laughs> might as well just show what I can do. And all the other other contestants didn't have a chance because he took all the time. Well, anyways, what a story. Well, remember I I, I actually sang La Bamba. <laughs> yeah, that's at one right. point. <laughs> yeah. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, I'm I think ready. your okay. ready. So you're gonna all put right. the the salt side on the top or so on the bottom? Uh, let's put the salt side down. Okay, that go ahead. Makes yeah. sense. I never really what thought of that before. Do? But yeah. your, hey, this is all you, yeah, brother. There you go. And there we just go. let it, yeah. let it just sear. Don't touch it. Yeah, we won't touch it. Okay. We don't even, we don't even look at it. <laughs> you know. All right. So. Uh, let's hey, but you know, out. oh, I forgot to tell you. You go know, ahead. it's very important when you're picking steaks because people ask me all the time. Yeah. Jake, how do you pick your steaks? Uh huh. You know, my ribeyes. I mean, guys like you know, I mean. You know, Alan the Wong, he has, you know, he asks me all the time, <laughs> yeah. how do you pick your steaks? Uh -huh. You know, I, and I, I uh, Chef Jeff, you know, they, eh, you know, no, I'm just, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I just kidding, Chef. He Chef. gets them here at Kualoa Ranch. Yeah. That's where he gets them. 
but I tell, you know, I always tell people, well, the most important thing, you look at the steak, you know, when you're in the, in the market, you just look at the steak, you pick it up, and you gotta look, and what you wanna look for is uh, make sure it's on sale. <laughs> yeah. Check the price, That's you know, the, the price. Yeah, you cannot beat that. When yeah. we come back, we're gonna see what this looks like when it's done. Jake Shimabukur hanging value. out with us. <laughs> it's Cooking Hawaiian <laughs> Style, presented by Kualoa Ranch. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style, presented by Kualoa Ranch, having some good fun with Jake, and he's uh, making Jake steaks yeah. that he got on sale. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do like two minutes at one side? Yeah, two, two, minutes, two minutes, one on side, other. so I'm just gonna flip this. Oh yeah, step, step back oh, a little bit. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, look that at looks that. Good. I, I like my medium rare, how you like yours? Oh yeah, yeah, medium rare is perfect. All right, yeah, that's, that's what we like about this show. You know, we get, make simple things, we make some, stuff that's a little more steps, but this is what it's all about, making the simplest things and use the ingredients from the land and from Hawaii, you know, that's what cooking Hawaiian style is about. And you, you know, we talked about you playing with the queen, uh, playing for the queen. Is there anybody that you remember that you just loved playing for? Like that one oh, play, performance. Playing for or playing, playing with? with? Playing with, that one performance. Well, you know, I mean, for me, growing up playing the ukulele, right, Eddie Kamai was always uh, yeah. my hero. Uh -huh. And uh, I mean, was everybody's hero. Uh -huh. And uh, and I had the I had the opportunity to, to play with him. Did you? You know, yeah. Uh, it was it was that that week leading up to the Hoku's, you know, uh -huh. for Mele Mei. and I actually got to uh, sit chat with him and play a few that's songs. That's awesome. And that's probably one of the highlights yeah. for me. Highlights yeah. of your career. Oh yeah. And on a national level, is there anybody that you know maybe you share with some of the people you played with? Yeah. Well, you know, it's been. Um, Gosh. I mean, you hung out with Lady Gaga. <laughs> no, but I never got to play with her. <laughs> I just got to stand next to her. You should have set that up. Yeah. Like, oh, so, yeah, man. here's my card, you know what I mean? I play well, ukulele. Yeah, well, you know, Bette Midler was, Bette. was huge for me. Um, Jimmy Buffett was Jimmy one of the Buffett. guys who really took me under his wing uh -huh. early on. Um, you know, Yo-Yo Ma. Yeah. Another one of my heroes, you know, really? being able to record. And, oh, and the last time I was here at the ranch, uh -huh. I uh, was playing with Ziggy Marley when he had his concert That's here. That's awesome. He's a nice guy. Oh, he's the nicest his guy. His wife yeah. is a good friend of mine. Uh, Hi, Orly. Yeah, she the show she's in, awesome. Uh, California. Ziggy's a great guy. Oh, yeah, he's All a great right. But I got to tell you, I, I got one, one, one thing I have to tell you. Like, I, yeah, I, lo I love Ziggy Marley. I love his music. Uh -huh. His family's amazing. And, you know, there was a track that he had asked me to to play on uh -huh. for his, uh, for one of his, his We're gonna let albums. that rest a little bit? Mm-hmm. Okay, we'll let that rest a little and, bit. And uh, you know, and then he reached out, yeah, we gotta let it sit before we cut it out, okay. and, and he reached out, and I was so excited, because I was like, oh my gosh, it's Ziggy Marley. Uh -huh. And he said, Jake, you know, I, I wrote this song about Hawaii, and I would love for you to play some ukulele on it. So I thought, oh man, I'd be honored, you know, thrilled. And uh, so he, um, you know, so he sent me the track, uh -huh. And I listened to it, and he didn't put the vocals on yet. Okay. He said, I didn't put the vocals on, on it yet, but here's the track. So I listened to it, I learned the chords and all that. Then he flew me up to LA, and I recorded at his studio. He still didn't have the vocal track okay. on it, right? So I was like, all right, cool. I played my part, and he listened to it. He's like, oh, yeah, great. And then he said, I'll send it to you after I lay down the vocals. So I was like, okay, awesome. I went back home to Hawaii. A few weeks later, he sends me the track, and the song is about smoking weed <laughs> in Hawaii uh -huh. and you know and, and I and I wanted to bring it because I you know I've, I've always been drug-free my uh -huh, whole life yeah. and you know and that's one of my messages to kids is uh -huh. you know hey be drug-free make that decision right so and it was pretty funny because that song was being played <laughs> well, all you know over he's the radio a Rastafarian. and I, I know I didn't I didn't I didn't think about that but it was truly an honor but just want to say awesome. want to encourage all the young kids out there hey to study hard in school find your passion and be drug-free yeah and right? make sure you let your steak rest let your for, steak rest for, for a few yeah. minutes all right That's when we come back we're gonna try some of Jake's food can you in play fact, in fact yeah this 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 steak this cow is drug-free yeah, it is all organic yes right here from Kualoa Ranch go, it's cooking see? Hawaiian style uh -huh. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back to Cooking Hawaiian Style, brought to you by Kualoa Ranch. Jake Shimabukuro, thank you so much for joining oh, us. Oh, no, man. It was what a real honor. No, I, I had a honor great for time. us. We've been trying to get you on for so long. What did you make today, real quick? So I made the Jake's steaks, uh -huh. which is like a ribeye, truffle ribeye kind of thing, uh, the spinach salad. With, with special, special sauce. sauce. And we say special sauce because it makes it sound more like a burger. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right. And then, of course, a sunny side sandwich. There you go. You going to play something for us? Yeah, we'd right. love to. Serenade me while I try your food. That's so rude. Jake, you a girl, <laughs> like ladies and gentlemen. I'll, I'll feed, feed you. Eat in front of I'll me. feed you. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah? How's that? Bueno. 
I'll try to make like I'll, I'll do a different song for every every dish. All right, go so ahead. So now, now it's a salad now, yes, right? Yes, now so it's a salad. Something a little more sophisticated. Awesome. Oh yeah. Yeah. I like the sauce, light. Very good. Yeah, good. Yeah. Not too sweet. Perfect. Oh, cool. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Breakfast sandwich. That. Very good. No, you gotta get to the yolk, right? You I got bread. some yolk inside you're like, there. You sure? Jake, this is TV. No okay, one's gonna right. say. <laughs> Keep playing. <laughs> oh, I thought that piece was gonna be for me. <laughs> you had water, eh? Hey? Mm. Oh, just like our wedding. <laughs> I guess we're not gonna get a song out of you, are we? <laughs> oh, no, I am. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is from the Go for Broke movie. Hawaii's best, ladies and gentlemen, Jake Shiro Thank you so much for joining us. It's Cooking Hawaiian Style, presented by Kualoa Ranch. We'll see you next time. Ahui ho.